guys. So today we are going to do another thrift with me video. Very exciting stuff. I know I'm excited. What is this? Um, but, uh, so today we're going to do a thrift with me video. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, I'm here at my Goodwill. It's my favorite place to thrift here where I live. Um, it just has the best prices and, um, it's really well organized. Some Goodwills are just not. A lot of thrift stores in general are not organized. So, Mine here, it's really organized. It's not very big. It's a pretty small store, but ultimately it's worth looking around. Today's a Thursday, so it should be 50% off whatever the color is. So let's try and pick as many as the color as we can find. And let's see what we can find. I want to, I'm not looking for anything in particular. Maybe some summertime stuff. I am going to be going to Mexico here in about a month and uh yeah so might as well look for some stuff see what i can find good stuff so let's get going So I'm going to check the mint section to see if they have any things for my husband as well, hopefully. So I was not able to find any board shorts for him. I found one pair, but they were going to be way too small. I think they were like, I'm not going to say mismarked because I mean like the tag was not in them, but they definitely were not his size. Um, but I found a couple like nice shirts and things like that. So we're hoping that hopefully he'll have uh, enough nice things to go on the trip.
I found I found a few things. I found a couple dresses. I found a pair of shorts. Um, I just well, I just found a few things that I'm thinking about. I think I'm gonna just pick everything up that I found. And it's 50% off the red tags, which I have a couple of those, so that's nice. These are kind of cool. I kind of like these. I don't need them, but like, that's such a neat glass. Only a buck. They're not half off, but I like them. I do, I do, I do. Okay, guys, tell me, do I like this? Do I want this? I know it's bold, okay? And brown is not my favorite color, but it's a freaking crocodile. I will say, you can tell it's vintage. You can tell it's really kind of an older style because that tag, but it's definitely been used. Used, used, used. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Do I need it? Do I want it? I'll have to phone a friend and see what if I should do it or not. I don't know. We'll find out. You'll see in the hall. I got my goods. And I'm heading back to my car. Okay guys, so I'm back in my car. Yeah. Um I got a lot of stuff. Well, I suppose I guess a lot of stuff. It's not like too too much stuff. I think I got like seven things maybe, something like that. I'm just spending like forty two dollars and some change which isn't terrible. I think I only got like one or two red tag items. So, oh, two. Yeah, I got two red tag items. So I got two things that were half off, which was a win. I wished I could have got more. That's the only downside about um, the Goodwill is that at the beginning of the week, they'll have a lot of stuff for the 25% off. But then Wednesdays and Thursdays, or at least at mine, I'm not sure about everyone else's, but Wednesdays and Thursdays at mine, uh, that's when they do 50% off, and then Fridays is 75%. Um, so yeah, when it comes to Fridays, there's hardly anything ever left. If you ever want something on sale, then you want to go on Mondays and Tuesdays. Normally Tuesdays is the best time, because Mondays they're still marking and putting stuff out. So sometimes it's kind of like, you know, they just, they're still kind of moving around a lot of merchandise. They get new shipments in on Mondays. So, but Thursdays tend to be okay for me. Wednesdays are really when to hit it. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah. It's really when to hit it. But today I just had some free time. And so, yeah, I wanted to hit that Goodwill, find some vacation clothes. Okay guys, so it is a different day from when I picked up my stuff from the thrift store, but we are gonna go over it, what I got. I'm not gonna try it on because I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Um, I just don't want to right now. <laughs> um, it's really just that, I just don't feel like it because um, it's late and I have my skincare on and I am wearing like, my comfies and I just don't want to, but I will show them to you all, show you everything I got. Um, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what the consensus is. We'll see if we're all happy. We'll see if we all like what I got. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I paid for everything. And, uh, it's still in this bag. This is just like an Aldi's like reusable bag, but, uh, I just have them in this big giant bag. Look at that big bag. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you what I got. So let's hop into it. So I have my nifty nifty receipt here. Right, what did I end up getting? How many things did I end up getting? 10. I ended up getting, so I ended up getting like 10 items total. Uh, two of them I got for half off. So that's cool. And yeah. I ended up spending $42.49. Not too bad. That kind of breaks down to 40, uh, breaks down to $4.20 roughly. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of the bag. That way I can uh, take the tags off of it and wash it. Because that's important. 
wash your Goodwill finds because you just don't know what people's houses were. You know, you just don't know what they look like. But okay, so this first one is just actually like a home DIY project. I know that for a fact. But I just got this bleached like crop top. This is it. That's that's all there is to it. And it's just I know it's a DIY because it is just a uh, Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. And that's fine with me. These are like technically in style. They're in style right now and some and somebody cropped it. A friend of mine, obviously. And four bucks. It was not a red tag. Unfortunately, I'm very sad about it. It was not a red tag, but it was a blue tag and I still just got it for four dollars. So which is cheaper than me buying a t-shirt and bleaching it. You know what I'm saying? Like to buy a t-shirt at Walmart is like five bucks, you know? So I might as well get this one for four. And uh, it keeps the consumerism down. I'm not buying new stuff, you know? That's the point of going to the thrift store. So you guys know I like fun t-shirts and you know, you might know that by now. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. And uh, so I found this one. I especially like Goodwill finds and uh, garage sale finds. So good. I love that stuff. So I found this one. This is the Flying Saucer Beer Nerd. Spelled with a K. Kansas City, Missouri. I do live in Missouri, so I thought this was extra fun. And it's, of course, it's this was a, I think, like a beer festival. I googled it. This is like a brewery situation in KC. They also have them other places too, but this was like a, in 2016, I think it was like a, maybe like a beer tasting or a beer competition situation, but this was a red tag. So I got it for two bucks there. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. It had to happen. It had to be mine. Even if I just wear it randomly. I also just grabbed this basic polo. It's a Banana Republic polo for my husband. It is just a plain white polo. That's it. And it with a little, just a little elephant for Banana Republic. And this was also $4, which is a good price because Banana, Banana Republic is not four bucks. And as I mentioned to you guys, I was looking for some vacation things and I found him one shirt but one shirt is more than no shirts and he can always use a white polo. Just not just for vacation, but also just other things. This was an item I got for possibly for vacation. Oh, there's the top. Okay. Uh, it's just actually a faded glory dress. Uh, it's in a double XL. So I don't know if it's going to be too big or not. I normally wear an extra large or a size 16 and I got this for $5 and it's just like a little basic like dress that's kind of cinches in the middle and then it has like this I don't know if you guys can see it it has like this little wrap situation it doesn't actually wrap but it kind of looks like it wraps you know what I'm saying where it kind of just wraps around the front and it's just I don't know. It just looked like it maybe would hang nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I thought I would try it out for five bucks. Why not? You know, the worst thing can happen is, um, I try it on. I don't like it and I just re donate it back, you know? So it's not, and you can return to the Goodwill as long as uh, the tags are still on it within 14 days. So I have time, but still, you know, it's just like sometimes, is it, is it worth the hassle of like returning it for like a $4 shirt? You know, it's just kind of, it just depends. I don't know. Depends on how lazy I'm being. That's the real key. I got these jean shorts and they're from D and co denim and denim and company. And I got them for $3 and they're just like this pair of green, fairly stretchy little jean shorts. And they had them for like a more Bermuda length but I plan on cuffing them because I like a cuffed jean and I have thick ass thighs, um, thick thighs. And because I got thick thighs, I don't like them to rub together and harm me. You know, I don't like that. 
So what I'm going to do is cuff these to an appropriate length where my legs don't rub together, but they're still shorts because it's still hot, you know? So I'll probably cuff them to more like that length. And that's a good length where it's, because if I just buy pre-cuffed shorts, they're always too short. They're always too short of me because my thighs are big and that's just part of it. I like my big thighs. I really do. That being said, I don't want my shorts to roll the rest of the way up past the widest part of my thigh and cause me to have horrible, awful rash chub rub. You know, it's not for me I'm trying to prevent the chub rub with every ounce of my body. You know, you get it. You have thick thighs, you get it. You just understand it's very painful. You get a horrible like red spot and then you try to like take a shower to, and it just doesn't, oh, it's horrible. I hate it so much. And no amount of deodorant between the thighs will prevent it for me. Powder does not prevent it for me. I just got big thighs, okay? We're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. Okay, so I grabbed this tank top. This is actually from Torrid. And it is a Torrid size one. I got this for $4.79. I don't know where this, uh, the pricing is coming in on this one, but I think maybe they're changing their pricing a little bit. I hope not. I like the $4 pricing. But so this, you, it's kind of hard to tell, but it like cinches here under the boobs. And so it, the boobs are here and it's like a racer back in the back. It technically zips in the back too. You can see the zipper goes all the way down about halfway. And so it ends down right about here. And yeah, I just thought this was pretty. I thought it was nice. I'm going to try it on and see, uh, actually see if it goes up and under my arms and not like weirdly low where then like your bra is kind of hanging out and you feel like you can't wear like a strapless situation because I have giant boobs, giant boobs. I'm a 38 triple D. So I have a fairly narrow rib cage for my cup size. Yeah. So <laughs> they're big. So I need some, I need some support and I don't like just, I don't know. I, I like wearing a bra. The, the boob sweat is horribly unbearable, you know? So a bra is important to me. And yeah, so I just got this. I want to see if it fits and hopefully it does. And I think it'll go really cute with just other pairs of jean shorts that I have. Okay. This is my last clothing item. I'm hoping this fits and works for me. This is from AB studio. It's an extra large. I got it for $5 red tags with two fifty. Two fifty for a dress, even if it doesn't fit, like, gee, I mean, I, how do you pass it up? But it's this really pretty, pretty color. And it has like this little gold piece. I'm not so sure if I like the gold piece or not, but you know, not my favorite, but I don't hate it. So it just kind of cinches here in the middle, super, super flowy, lightweight, has this really like thin chiffon kind of over the top. And it has a actual, lining, which is nice because sometimes you just, you get things, they just don't have a lining. So yeah, so I found this, I just thought it was pretty, um, for honestly, like, for, I don't know what, how it is. I got two dresses that don't show off my boobs because normally when I go on vacation, I wear very minimal clothing, honestly, but, um, <laughs> I just thought this was really pretty and I just hope it fits because you just never know until you try it on, but it is an extra large for two fifty. I'll take it. So I have a fun little find here. I found this little wallet like wristlet and it's actually a Marc Jacobs wristlet. Um, I think it's more of like their economy line, you know what I'm saying? But it's like brand new looking, like it doesn't still have its little card in there, but it's like, new, new, you know, like they still like none of these tags look like they've been like touched. There's nothing in any of the pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks brand new, even like this 
even the logo, the embossing on the inside is not worn off at all. And so this one, I'm like, uh, this is pretty much new and it's gray and it has a wristlet option. So I think I might like, this would be good just for like little day outings that I can take this fling on my wrist and just do my thing. I'm not normally a huge wristlet person, but this one also, because it's, you can just, it's small. You can tuck it in your purse and just use it as a regular wallet. You know what I'm saying? And I got this for six twenty seven. weird price. I know, uh, like I said, I think it's just their new pricing. I'm going to have to try to use some like little goof off or something to get this off. Maybe I don't know. Hopefully it just peels right off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's peeling right off. Yep. That popped right off. So that's cool. And yeah, I just, uh, I'm happy I got it. You know, why not? I always need a little wallet. It's super neutral and it'll work for all sorts of different stuff. So this was my maybe purchase that I purchased. Yeah. I'm so excited. So it has this, uh, crocodile like clasp on it. How cool. And I know it has a couple little dings on it and they're not dings. Like they couldn't be worn out. Like, I think they just, it was just pressed up against something in a box for a long time, but it is vintage. I know it's vintage because the inside has like this vintage label and you can see it there. It just looks, looks vintagey and it looks old and it looks like it's been used, but not so used that it's like, Oh, that's super used. It doesn't smell weird, which I know is a weird thing to check, but it doesn't smell weird. You know what I'm saying? But, and the clasp still works really nice. You just pop and it's not a super tight one, but it's also not just loosey goosey. It just pops right down. And even if you don't have a clasp, it still just stays down. So if you're carrying it, it's not doing this weird thing where it's like pulling up funny. Like it just kind of will stay if it needs to. But I freaking love this thing, right? I saw it and at first I was like, oh, instantly drawn to it. It's a crossbody. You know how hard that is to find of a, like a vintage purse of an actual crossbody that crosses your body, but it's, you can just actually have it here on your shoulder and it's like a really nice statement piece, you know, like. How many people have a crocodile bag, right? Like there's a crocodile on it. Look at that. Look at that. You saw it in the other video. You saw it in earlier where I was talking about it, but it's like this kind of bronzy color, which is kind of fun. Like I said, I wish it didn't have this Nick on it. Once again, I, it's not a Nick in the fabric. It's not a Nick in like the leather, even though it's not real leather, it's pleather, but it's not a Nick. It's just a spot where it's sitting up against something for a long time. But you know what I'm saying? How cool. And it's pretty small. It's not, this is not a oh, daily wearer, but I mean, ultimately if it's that, if it's that wallet, you know, if it's that wallet, no problem. So I can throw my Mark Jacobs wallet in my vintage $8 purse. Yes. I feel like I've won. I feel like I won the thrifting kind of lottery. Um, I just love it. I don't, I know it's vintage. I know it's a little beat up, but I really, really love it. And I'm going to wear it with stuff. Okay guys. So that is it. That's it for my thrift with me. It's a second thrift with me. I'm very excited. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment down below that really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I mean, just tell me like, was there anything I got that you were just like, oh yeah, good find, good find. I liked it a lot. Or was there everything in the stack? You were like, why'd you buy that? You know, your style is odd. You have a weird vibe, you know, heck, tell me anything. That's fine with me. I can take it. I'm strong, but that is it for me today. You guys, I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye.